Let us spend some time with our readings from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, from verses 1 to 20, which describes, gives an account of Paul's conversion, and John's Gospel, chapter 6, 52 to 59, Jesus is teaching on the Eucharist. What surprises us in the conversion of Paul, and especially how quickly he started his mission, his life as a Christian, is this sudden change. From the moment that he accept of his call. The Holy Spirit started his life in him. Very important the fact is that personally he hasn't seen Jesus during our Lord's teaching ministry. He wasn't his disciples, but suddenly, within a couple of days, three or four days, he became a disciple and member of the uh, group of the Apostles. And this is a wonderful news for us, that the Holy Spirit God's love and self-revelation through the Word of God, through the words of the Scripture, can bridge this distance of time and uh, can make us disciples of the Lord, Christians living in the presence of the Lord. So we are celebrating this ability that... Uh, the Spirit, uh, the, uh, through the Spirit, the same happens to us as Paul, that we can, we can have a full awareness of our Lord's teaching, we can have a full joy of His very present day uh, friendship and working together with Him. Our second reading, John's Gospel, gives us the key how it happens. I tell you most solemnly, if you do not eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink His blood, you will not have life in you. Anyone who eats my flesh, who does eat my flesh and drink my blood, has eternal life, and I shall raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood lives in me, and I live in him. And this is the ground, the very ground. This is the very sustenance which enables us to experience this present life with Jesus. Receiving the Holy Communion, the table of the Eucharist, at the table of the Eucharist and at the, at the table of the Word, receiving it uh, on a regular basis, on Sundays or during the week, this builds up in us a living dialogue, a covenant with the Lord, the covenant of weekdays penetrating uh, our weekdays. So let us give thanks for this mysterious, mysterious gift, receiving our Lord's, our risen Lord's fresh flesh and body, His person in the Holy 